Clip On, Cast Out and Count Down. Fox Rage Street Fighters Episode 3 is on. Welcome back to Fox Rage Street Fighters. Over the past two episodes, we've seen our four teams go head-to-head on the streets of Liège in Belgium during two sessions over a single day. The action has been intense, with all countries battling hard to hit the top spot. But the results speak for themselves, with an epic fish-catching scrap seeing the French and the Germans sharing top spot on four points each. Sitting in third, a Team UK with a delicate one-point lead over the Dutch. Things are finely balanced and anything can happen. So sit down and strap in. Here come the boys for day two. First stop is with the British. Fish catching head screwed on, they need to work hard today to beat the two leading teams. Okay, so day two, Kev. Try something a bit different. Yep. Well, we're um, starting at the other end of the stretch now, so we're almost <laughs> at the bottom. We've got a little bit further we can try. However, with this bit of rain this morning, quick hide under the bridge, get our bearings, get our heads together. Um, yesterday was a gruller, and um, I think it's taken its toll on everyone, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it was, uh, it was noticeable by uh, how quiet it was. There were 12 <laughs> guys to the, today sat there and Nobody Not was talking. In the house. Um, so we need a bit of a change of plan, really. We've scraped a point together yesterday. A point's not really going to cut it. Um, the Germans and the French had a blinding day. Both got four points. Um, so we're just going to jump about a bit today, try and find some fish and um, try some areas that we haven't already tried, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, and, and we know that there was fish here when we were yeah. practicing. The two Dutch guys, they lost a well, what we think was a catfish, but they also lost another fish. We had a hard hit farther up, yep. so, you know, who knows? Well worth a go, and um, like I said, I think we've just got to try and find new areas today, really. There was fish where we were yesterday, but they're, they're just not biting fish. It's very, very difficult um, mentally and physically to keep, keep bashing away at those spots. Well, um, so let's just keep our heads together, try, oh. try some new water. Lose me glasses. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Try some new water and uh, hope to catch a few fish. Yeah? Yeah, I'm up for that. Cool. Then, right on cue. Okay. I can't see it at the moment. Got oh. I can't Tread see it. Around it. You round it, you round it. Here you go. Hold up, just keep the net there. I'll keep the net there, you bring the fish Drop. to it. Oosh! Let's get started. So here we are, start of day two. Third cast, good hit, small Xander. Oosh! That wakes you up. It does, mate. <coughs> oh, <you> f- <coughs> 45, bang on. Good start. What are you saying then, Trev? We need a few more of these today. <laughs> we need Hopefully a lot a more bit of these. bigger, because we need to take a point from so, one of the biggest species, ideally. These little strappers ain't going to cut it, but if we can get 10 of them, happy days. Soon we have 20. It's a good start. And then, on the next cast, Well done, Trev. Boom! No, we're both don't awake. Know, don't know whether he's a counter this morning, but is that yeah, the number two? he's 40. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> no one there, but don't let them better looks, lads, see us. Look, they're, they're there. You'll stretch him. You won't, no, mate, you won't. I'm afraid. No. It's a non counter, but hey ho. Non counter at 31. 31. Oh? Yeah, got him. Those bites. Those bites. Two casts, two fish. Hey, we can't be, uh, we can't choose what takes the lure, can you? Or the size of the fish that takes the lure. Good start. Good start. Boom. Let's go. 
bites are bites. So yeah, about that far out, Chad. About <laughs> that far out. <laughs> So, a positive start for Team UK, but will it be enough to stay ahead of those Dutch? We just got one. Oh, wacht. Hij past niet. Ja. First five minutes. And we got a nice 65, I think. Centimeter zander in the net. I think it's bigger. Yeah? Oh, I'm That's stuck a good fish. Line. Okay. Let's take the unhooking mat. Nah, it might be 70. I don't know. I it's think a good so. fish. Uh, it's a really good fish. Taken on a 10 centimeter Zander Pro. Natural perch color. Just hooked. Good fish. 72 centimeters. No wait, 73. Look. 73? 73. No, 72. Yeah. Solid fish. Really nice. Great fish, mate. How did you catch that then, Taj? Um, just like yesterday, I was jigging. And um, right before the bank, it was a really subtle bite. At first I thought I got stuck. But um, yeah, I struck it anyway. And it was a fish. And a good fish. Well, Solid fish. I'm gonna put it back now. Well, the fish, uh, I think, is still in a sort of trance. I had it before. But what works with Xander is to throw it with a bit of a splash. They'll react to it and go to the bottom. So let's try that. See? And now one. Nice one. Nice. Whew. I think that's a really important fish. Yeah, this will uh, maybe change the game. Yeah. Maybe the point for the biggest fish. And uh, yeah, let's now go for the numbers and the yeah. other fish. Let's keep on hammering. That is a oh. huge capture for Team Benelux, which could be well, vitally important, fun. both for length and as a possible bonus point for the biggest Xander of the day. Time to catch up with the Germans. Good morning, fellas. Now it's the second day of the tournament for us. So we are in the lead together with the Frenchies and as you can see, it's early morning. It's five o'clock now and uh, we will start at the same place where we uh, started yesterday because uh, we had three fish straight on. We will start with the, some vertical fishing and then switching afterwards if there is no reaction on some casting and maybe trawling just uh, beside the walls. So we hope that this will work out. We are not sure. The weather today is rainy, completely different and it seems that it might be completely cloudy the whole day. So. Fishing can be really interesting and I think it will be a really tight fight between the Frenchies and us. Uh, we are fighting for the points, like main goal for sure, the sander. So, so we can go maybe over the, the length, but uh, as we can see, like the Frenchies, they improved quite a lot in the second uh, part yesterday of the day. And so we have to take care and see that we can uh, keep the pressure on them. And then hopefully we can take the win back home to Germany. So Patrick, what do you think? Like now we are struggling like for two hours, like 
We are here, it's already seven. Two hours, no bite. So much time went by already. Yeah. So oh. the last two hours, like all the spots which were working in the morning yesterday, which brought us the good fish, was no reaction. Yeah, like just one knew. fail bite. One, for yeah, me. one fail bite for you. So, and we so we met the Dutch guys. They said that it would one good thunder. We know that the French has already got in fish as well. Um, yeah, we have, we have to find a new plan because this what was working yesterday isn't working today. What do you think? I feel I don't feel like going upstream because there are now I think two teams running around, so it will be quite a pretty heavy fished area. But we had. Um, so you mean under each bridge we had some bites, we had some fish. So why don't fishing it in between? Because no one is fishing the areas in between properly. Yeah, so just casting into the middle of the river and just making That's step by step. Step by step, like every ten meters, having yeah. one two cast, yeah. walking and finding the feeding fish. Yeah, Might most... be a good solution, but we will see. But you're right. I think going upstream it makes no sense because. If the Dutch are doing this and the French is on the other, on the other side, it might be hard and the fish uh, have been seen already quite a lot of lures and they will fish the same stuff that, that we do because they saw Probably. it. Probably. So. Was it a good bite or just grundle? Uh, just a goby. Bwah. So? Monsters. Let's do it. Yeah. So, the Germans starting slowly. Great news for the French, because even though Team France did well last session, they still have a lot of ground to make up to win this competition. Hey guys, that's first cast in the morning. So we have been uh, changing the location. So we start on a new, yeah, quite new place. Um, fishing with a good size uh, surf bait with Zander Prochad. Uh, so I'm doing this stuff next to the a little island. And Matt is starting with a hard bait, with a Salmo um, Hornet, doing all along the um, the ducks, so that's how we decided to start this morning. I tried to get a zander on a, on a, on a zander pro shad. He tries to uh, get zander, perch, pike, any, any uh, fish on a, on a salmon or net. So we're gonna start here and then we'll probably move uh, a few hundred meters uh, downstream. But we have a big challenge today. We need to, to keep up uh, the good work we did uh, yesterday afternoon, so that will be hard. We need we need fish and we need big fish to to get the, the bonus points. So good morning. We are in the third past part of the street fishing in the morning we now the the light are a little bit low so we we need to find uh, some active fish in the morning uh, first time i used uh, the crumb bait the crumb bait the silent one and i i cast the long, along the the wall and I twitch my lure near the bottom. Sometimes you have some zander on the bottom and one time pop! So today the weather changed because a lot of rain in the night so maybe i don't know something like 20 degrees degree maximum today and yesterday 30 so i think it's good 
to catch more fish. So we didn't get the bite we expected, so we just changed uh, the side. So we are on the other side of the river, uh, the little island where we were where, where is just there. And uh, now we are fishing a long uh, dock, a long wall, uh, and mat, that's especially for mat, because doing my linear stuff, I think it doesn't make a big difference, uh, that kind of spot, but He's going to, to fish along the wall, the, that, that long, 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 long wall. So, well, we'll see what, what it does. But that would be really cool to, to catch at least one fish now. Mais je suis obligé. Sinon, il nage pas. I walk with my crankbait. Just near, just near the wall, but now the problem, you have a, a lot of thing on the water, so I need to pull off all of the dishes. Like this. When it's a little bit difficult to fish, this is a good solution to walk a lot and fish along the wall. Sylvain, look. I think Dutch team. I think this is the Dutch team. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, we have no bite, so yeah. I think we could try the canal. Nobody, nobody been there. Nobody know. Um, maybe. maybe <laughs> yeah, they all know about the canal, but I think it hasn't been fished yet. And uh, well, it's well known for for big perch. Yeah. And I think one one big perch could be a game changer, definitely, because it yeah, could yeah. be one point. One extra point, so that's a bit of a risk because yeah. we, we absolutely don't know about the fishing there. But anyway, it's not good here, so it's, we should. I think we should try it at least for an hour, and it, it fits really well with what you are doing with your home yeah. bait. So could be interesting to see if we can I get use a bite bait there. And you use a soft bait. Well, do, finish your, yeah, yeah, your yeah. little stuff, and then we, yeah, yeah. we move. Go go okay. go. On va les déglinguer! <laughs> team France also struggling to find fish, with the British and the Dutch the only team so far to put centimetres on the board. This is shaping up to change everything from yesterday, but can Team UK keep up the pace? more casts and then a uh, bit of a move on, Trevor? Yeah. Um, morning of day two, spot two, an area we haven't fished before. One of the uh, local range anglers, uh, Kivan, has put us onto it as a, a possible area to try and get a decent perch. Um, it looks fishy, but I mean, so does everywhere here. There's just so much water to go at. Um, we're going to try and attack it two different methods. Trev's already on a crankbait, I'm still on the soft plastics. Um, we're just going to have to give it a quick go, I think work fast down through here, not spend too much time. I don't believe any of the other anglers have been down here, um, so we'll just uh, give it a quick bash.
Right, it's half past six. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't feel that we should uh, waste too much time up here. Certainly explore it quick, but maybe seven o'clock. Seven o'clock sounds good to me. Give it a quick rundown. I'm running the chatterbait deep along the edges. So I'll cast along the wall, run that. You're running a crankbait. We should cover most of the depths. Oh, it's tight. So um, we had a bit, little bit of inside local knowledge, but it also appears so might the French. So um, we're probably not going to give it very long. Uh, obviously everybody appreciates a bit of advice from the local anglers and uh, there's no, they're not going to stay loyal to any one of the teams so um, hopefully everyone's got a little bit of advice, taken it when, used it how they like. Um, we've had a little dabble, it's not really um, confident boosting up here so I think we're um, going to call it a day and uh, either head back up into the town, similar areas to where we were yesterday or there's one more little area by a dam that we're... Uh, consider having a little bash at. Teams treading on each other's toes and hard work for all the anglers so far as the conditions have changed dramatically since day one. Someone's surely got to break the deadlock and start catching seriously. Fetter Sander, ein guter, 50 plus. Half crawl? Yeah. Geil. Geil. Critter, critter. Front Wiesen hier, oder? Ja. Vielleicht ist das auch unsere Taktik, dass wir uns wieder changen. Ja, ich habe ein sehr dünnes Vorfach wegen dem Barsch und deswegen muss ich die Rolle auch wieder, ja. Egal. Wave Ah, wave ah. yeah. I got a very thin leader because I was fishing for perch. And well, suddenly appeared a sander, pike perch. Not even that bad size. And I just don't want to risk losing that beautiful fish. Yeah, it's a perfect one. The important points for us. And we have to see. Came now on the critter. So, really looking forward. But now the stream is push, pulling up. So we have to be careful. And as Patrick said, it's like a very thin leader. That the critter has more playing better in the water. So mm. we have to be very, very careful. Beweg nicht zu viel den Kescher, ich ziehe den dahin. So. Hochziehen. Hoch, 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 hoch. Ah. Yes! yes, man! In the net! Important one. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> so, this is all it. Wow! Well, guys, here's he. I've been using a little critter, even the smaller size, because I had a perch following my slick shed, so I decided to use my slide rig again with a, a critter and a beautiful sand appeared. Well, that is a fish. We didn't measure it yet, so I can't tell you the size, but within a few seconds you will see it. <laughs> Good one. 66. Stop, stop. I'm a zero. We'll get it. It's a 66 centimeter fish. Perfect. So, finally, our decision to walk in between the bridges um, brought us the first fish, a sand of 66 centimeters. And as you might see, I'm fishing very slowly. I'm using my slide rig for. Uh, the fishery with small shads and uh, critters, an offset hook and slide rig. Maybe you would like to know what is a slide rig. So, here I'm gonna show you just a quick look. It's an offset hook on a leader connected to OA, and you got a running, sliding weight. That means you can use almost every weight possible so you can put uh, 30 gram 40 gram cast very far but still the fish has no resistance when it takes a bait and you've got a very sensitive bite indication so when I get a bite I hear a lot of grundles so when I feel a tick of a bite I give it a rest wait look what happens 
And if a fish is pulling line, I know duck is possibly a good fish, so I can set the hook. Because when nothing happens, it was again a small grundle just nya, 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 nagging into the bait. Well, let's continue. <laughs> How are you doing, Herman? Well, actually, it's a bit frustrating. Luckily, we got now one sander after yeah, almost three hours of fishing. So the last two, two hours to go for us. Um, yeah, it was, was quite nice to have uh, a contact, at least one now. Um, I had a good bite on a, on a crankbait, but finally it was a, a, a catfish. And after a short uh, run, it just snapped off. So um, now we are back on track. Now we have the first fish and uh, we are hoping for more so that we can stay in contact with the Frenchies and, um, and the Dutch guys because we knew that they already got caught some fish. So let's see. And we keep on going. So, the Germans finding their big fish again, but not quite big enough to beat the early fish of Team Benelux. Speaking of which, let's see where those Dutch boys have got to. Uh, well, we're now heading to the, the wall where I had the catfish last day and also had a, a zender. Thijs did also a couple of fish there while pre-fishing. So uh, we're first of all going to target that wall and after that we're going to the, the, yeah, the heart of the city to uh, target some uh, nice bridges. Yep. Because uh, the sun is coming up, they're going to find some shadow places and uh, yeah, that's where I want to target them. So yeah. What are you thinking about it all Thijs? The same. Just keep on moving, fishing new waters. Hoping for fish. How do you think you've done compared to the other teams so far? Current, we're only fishing for 15 minutes. They could have caught anything, but I think we're quite solid. I don't believe we'll last now, for today at least. Oh, they, they caught a fish. I think it's a nice sender. I haven't seen it. Yes. Yeah. Same. Bon, très bien. Nice one. Now we need to catch some. The British are just down here. What are you going to say to them? Uh, We're gonna have a chat and uh, see if they call anything and then go to the next spot, I think. Yeah, I'm curious. What do you think? Have they caught anything? I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. Yesterday we were also in that spot and we also caught one in the morning. Yeah, therefore I hope they didn't catch anything so far. <laughs> that will bring us to a better position. Well, we, we caught nothing. Yeah. Good morning. Morning. Did you guys catch anything? No? Two? You caught two? Nice. Yeah. Big ones? Or? <laughs> I'll tell you that. Ah. Meters. Meters? Now you're? There are We've two got fish. A couple of meters, yeah. Ah, we nice. Yeah. Nice. Not this morning, though. Nah. <laughs> We had two, first two casts. Bang, bang. You had a bite. Eh? You had a bite. <laughs> hey, I'm not that sleepy. We're going to the next spot. Okay. Have a good one. Good luck, guys. Well, guys, we just uh, got on a new spot inside uh, the city. And we already spotted the French team on the other side of the river. So uh, everyone has making his uh, way into the city hearts, like uh, street fishing is all about. So uh, let's check if there's some fish active like yesterday and uh, hopefully we catch some.
What do you think about the French being so close here? I hope they know what they're doing because they're quite close to us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we also saw the Germans over there yesterday. So I think we're on a good spot right now. They're fishing the same as us, close to the bank I saw. How's it going, Kuhn? Well, it, uh, it's not going very good. Didn't have any bite. Yeah, only two, uh, two grandos, but they don't count. So yeah, it's, uh, it's slow fishing, but we're doing our best. I downsized to a seven and a half centimeters uh, Zender Pro in uh, color brownie. Grondo again. But yeah, I don't know. How are you handling the Grondel problem? Well, in Holland you don't have them that often. So if you got a small bite, it also could be a big sender that's just nipping on your, uh, on your lure. And you also need to, to hit it. But in here you get those takes all the time because there are with thousands of them. So that's a bit of annoying. But yeah, everybody got to deal with it and uh, we're doing our best. With the Dutch getting grundled out, it appears to be a fairly even playing field at the moment, with only the French yet to catch, but that could change any second. Well, we left the, the Meuse River, <laughs> we left the Dutch team, but with the idea of coming to the canal and uh, arriving there. There is a UK team in the back, so, well, looks like we are fishing on uh, someone else's shoes again. What's the idea of coming to this section, Sylvan? Uh, we, we just came to the canal because it's, uh, it's a different uh, thing than the river, so, we are expecting different results, or maybe one fish. But that, I like the idea to be several teams on the same uh, um, venue, because uh, if they catch, we'll see it. So it can give us some uh, indication on how the fish bite. But they are doing about the same thing that uh, Matt is doing with the crankbait along the wall. So. And then... <laughs> yeah, cool! Wow, that's a big one! Something like that! Well done! Look at that! We need to measure it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be close to 47, I guess. But the zero is not again the This is the zero, yeah. Attends, baisse un peu, s'il te plaît. Baisse à zero. No, 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 no. Let's put the zero. Okay. That's a 46. It's a nice yeah, fish. Check, check the nose, GB. Il nous fasse pas chier. That's okay. 46. Cool, super. Well done. Je te fais une photo. Je sais pas. Tiens, avec le, le, les tags derrière, ça va être classe. T'es content? I'm so happy to, for, for, for this fish. Allez, it's cool. a very good one. Catch with the with the hornet. Deeper, silent. I think the color it's natural pair, something like this. Ready? Nice. Avec un brun 60 en plus. Hein. Plouf. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, Woo! man. Next. A massively important fish for Team France there. That could be the biggest perch caught today, giving them another vital point. And also getting them off the mark with a solid 46 centimeters. What are you up to now, Sylvan? 
I've just put a piece of 0.60 mm uh, fluorocarbon in front of my crankbait because there are very, very few pike caught. So the pike could make a big difference. So I don't want to take the risk uh, to be cut by a pike actually. And I don't think it's uh, changing a lot of things on a crankbait. So just a short piece of fluorocarbon, 0.60. It avoids most of the, of the cuts. So I'll do it, same as, uh, same as Matt, as he got uh, a bite uh, after a few minutes. So I will try to get a perch as well on, uh, on the crankbait. Consciousness <laughs> burden. Elle fait 28 Oh Une petite perche Quite an unusual format for a perch here. A normal perch. That's a French perch actually. <laughs> That's a small one. Oh So where is the zero? It's here. That's a 30 something. 30. Little perch, but good point. Yes, cool. It can be uh, the fish that makes the difference at the end. Yeah, we, we don't know. Yeah, of course. Cool. Next one. So, Team France finally finding their feet on day two, but those Germans are working hard to defend their lead. When your teammate goes walkabout and you've got to land your own fish with a drop net. Good luck, Herman. So, we got one. Not a big one, but it's in the net. Hopefully it will crack the 40 centimeters that we have another per, uh, sander in the game. Oh, this will be tight. But at least uh, we have a little fish, so we will see if it's in the if it's enough. So just a little one, but it's enough to get 44 centimeters. And again, I'm pretty classic, just jig head and little slit head, nine centimeters. That's it. What well mate? So actually it's not worth it for a little picture, uh, but uh, here it counts, it's po po some po points for us and it's keeping us in the game. Thank you, my dear. And Herman straight back out, straight back into the fish. Nine, 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 damn it, lost it. So damn, that's a pretty pity, like I just uh, was moving to another spot and I said, ah, oh, let's Let's crank it again. Just maybe after 10 minutes, just straight away, a, a sharp bite. And uh, yeah, it seems it was a perch, so it's a pity that I lost it. So one more time, trying it and pulling in hard. And see if we can get another one. Disaster for Team Germany, who need all the centimeters they can get with the French breathing down their necks. Meanwhile, the British are back where they started. Oh, what a morning. It's been um, two hits, two fish straight away, probably the first couple of casts of the day. Um, we're actually back to that, that spot now. We've tried four or five areas, which is um, a bit of an error, really, in, in sort of tournament or match fishing. You've got to really um, sort of, time management can win or lose your competition easily. And I think today we've um, had bad time management, traveled too much, stuck in traffic, the wrong areas 
Uh, so we probably think, yet again, that we're behind. We have put two fish on the board, but one of them is undersized, so it doesn't count. Um, no idea how the other teams are doing. We've seen the French team once or twice. They're a bit, bit coy, as you'd expect. Um, so really, we've now got to just go all out. So rep time, see if we can get a pike. Trevor's still persevering for the Xander and the Perch. Um, we need to try and pick up at least one point today. Fingers crossed. How you doing, Trev? Well, I'm sort of edging my bets, but um, I, fish, I fish a bladed jig a lot, and I've got great confidence in sort of search and find with them. Water's pretty clear here, so you've got a good flash off the blade. You obviously get a lot of vibration off the, the jig. And uh, we're looking really for a pike, maybe a big perch. So I'm fishing a, the bladed jig and I'm fishing it quite aggressively. And uh, hopefully get entice that strike either from a, from a pike or from a big perch. The perch that have been caught, are, you know, they're all 45, 46. 48 centimetres, so uh, yeah, good sized fish, and certainly one that would uh, inhale that jig. There go those French again, who seem to be everywhere. So, still fit, fishing a chatterbait, a lot of confidence in it, but now I've changed it slightly. I've added a Xander Pro Shad to the back end. Um, gives it a deeper profile, gives it a little bit of back-end action as well. And also by adding a trailer, you make the, run, the lure run just that bit straighter. So I'm trying to give a profile, run a bit straighter, still giving vibration. Hopefully that will entice a hit. That was a bite. How are you getting on, Kev? So we're still really struggling this morning. We've only got about two hours left, struggling for bites. So just scaled down slightly, 10 centimetres Xander Pro in uh, Lemon Tiger. First two casts, two hits. Uh, they're only small hits, but it's more indication than we've had so far. So um, I think we've got to stay with the slightly smaller baits and just keep, just keep hammering. Wow, it's definitely tough out there. Where have those Dutch guys got to? Coon, where have you guys got to? Uh, we're now in a shopping mall. We're uh, going to the next spot. Some bridge is in the city center. Trying to find some uh, zender, maybe a perch, and if we're lucky, even a pike. So we're hoping. Team Benelux's search for the fish continues. Well, it's time to see if those French are making the most of their perch spot. A little bit bigger than the first one. C'est bon, t'as décroché? Aïe 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 aïe! Ah ben voilà. Matt, ah, Matt. Tu veux que je vienne Bah là oui, j'ai besoin excuse, là. Excuse. <rire> Again. Mène toi Non mais j'ai vraiment besoin. Ok. Passe. Ah merde. So, once again, 
Well, that's okay. It's not, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. It's bad. <laughs> C'est où T'en as une dans ton sac Non. <laughs> Moi non plus. T'as pas de pince Non. Bah là, on n'est pas bien. Faut décrocher la perche. Avec le ciseau, c'est pas bon. On n'a pas de pince. Mais euh, moi, c'est dans l'autre... Euh... L'autre bacan Qu'est-ce que je vais faire avec ça Je comprends pas. Je vais pas. Voilà, mon gars. Sans me tirer sur la peau. C'est bon, ça va. Tu me dis Ouais, ouais. Tu Bah, pff, tu tires, euh, j'en sais rien. Hein. Vas-y, essaie de basculer. Attends. Là, on, voilà. On devrait pouvoir... Euh, on devrait pouvoir le fait, basculer. Fait, en anglais. Ok, you can... Euh, voilà, y'a. Yeah. Ouais. Again. Ok, all right. You can measure the perch and release it, and I will deal with that later on. Because. Ah 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 ah! Elle, elle tire dans le fil cette. <rire> J'avais pas compris en fait. Je crois ah ouais, que tu excuse. Euh... Ah non non. <rire> Je t'ai pressé pour que tu la décroches en fait. Allez vas-y. Zero. Ah, c'est cool, c'est une... Ouais. une 34, 34. That's cool. <laughs> I will try to remove this. Évite de le rentrer plus. Voilà. Ok, so first, you need to remove the other hook. Otherwise, you can, you can have a double hooking, which would be <laughs> super bad. So we remove this one, the tail hook. Then you have only... <gasps> ah! <laughs> Another one. <laughs> And then, yeah, but that's two hooks, so that's too bad. Two, hook, two hooks at once. And then you need to think about something else and count up to three. One, two, three. And that's okay. No, I need to remain. Good job. <laughs> Put the hook back on it. My only concern is about the water in the canal, which is f***ing dirty. That, that's it. Combien ça t'arrive pas Um, I put, I hook myself more than I hook the fish actually. <laughs> so, well. Go back, good job, you're, uh, Go back fishing now. Nice yep. Not even a wince from the Frenchman there. And Team France are on the move yet again. So... We are back to where we caught the nice under yesterday. So we try to repeat the action. How are you fishing this section, Sylvan? <clears throat> so they tend to stay close to the wall because it's in the shadow. Well, today is a... Uh, It's a bit uh, grey, but uh, normally when it's sunny, they, they stay close to the close to the wall in the shadow. And uh, the best the best way to cover a lot of um, wall is to use a cranking technique, walking, pulling your crankbait along the wall. And then to prove the point. No. C'est une belle perche, mais je vais la dropper, je pense qu'elle est. C'est une 40 quoi, maxi. Non même pas. Ma GoPro tourne pas. Hein. Je vais la décrocher cette pute. Bim. Gone. Mathieu was too far, so I tried to to drop the fish, but it was just on the side of the mouth, so bad hook. That's a real pity because, yeah, I thought it, I could lift it, but no way. Okay, uh, so I will turn back, make a new, um, 
A new trial where I cut it. So I lost a good perch trying to lift it. That's a pity because uh, this can be a, a real uh, deal. But uh, now I switch to surf bait uh, just in order to, to try to catch a zander or a perch or a pike because I caught a pike here yesterday. So we're gonna uh, hammer this bridge a little bit with, uh, with surf bait. So we change, we go the other side of the bridge if we manage not to be killed by a truck. Je sais pas, j'y vais. That fucking big fish. That's a fucking big fish. C'est un gros. Ouais. That's a big thunder. Je vais pas le foirer. Je vais juste aller chercher les puzettes. Appelle-le, bordel. Je sais, il l'a avec lui. Attends, on va faire, je, je vais faire demi-tour mon gars. Mais toi il est mal pris. Arrête Fais gaffe, fais gaffe, fais gaffe. Vas-y, mets-toi là-bas. Ouais, ou mets-toi où t'es là. Je vais lui faire faire un, un demi-tour. Et j'arrive vers toi. T'as vu, il est mal pris. Hein. Allez, bim, dedans. C'est ex exactly what we needed. <laughs> oh my That's God. what we needed. Allez, vas-y, lève. That's exactly what we needed. It's a 60 something. 65, nice job, Sylvain. Very nice job. On the slick shard, not on the easy perch slick shard. Look, that was a teeny bite, I tell you. Teeny, teeny bite. Look. How it looked just by the nose with a UV perch. Chaque fois il manque un centimètre au truc. Oui. C'est bon? That's a 68, I think. No. 67 and a half. Attends, je me suis rapproché, non, c'est bon. That's a 67 and a half. This is a very nice one. Ready to go? Yes. <coughs> wow. I have water yes. from that dirty river in my mouth. <laughs> Good you. job, Sylvain. Cool. Nice fish. Next. Come. We still yeah, have yeah, yeah. time to catch one. You want to stay here? Mm, no, I think we'll move away. <laughs> no, of course. Okay. Yeah, a few, few cast. What a great fish for the French right at the depth. The action isn't quite over yet. Thunder. With the same pat pattern of silver. Allez, serre les fesses, mon gars. Même genre de fiche. Allez, prends ton temps, fais quoi un joli sang Ouais, ton temps. Hein. Oh. Non, c'est un petit glan, c'est un petit glan. Ah, ça. Eh, mais le dedans, hein. c'est pas grave. C'est un catfish. Baby glan. Allez, come on. Come in. Allez, tiens. Ah, 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 so, this is not the good spaces, but it's fun. With the same pat pattern of Sylvain, the little slick shot.
Day two, session one, done. A mixture of hard grind and pockets of action. The big question now is, how are those results looking? As the scoreboard shows, the French have now really found their rhythm, hammering away on the perch and Xander for a total of 178 centimetres. The Germans worked hard, but couldn't quite find the form of day one, measuring in 110 centimetres. The Dutch had just the one fish, but a big one, for 72 centimetres, while Team UK only managed to measure in the one Xander for 46 centimetres. As you know from day one, the biggest fish bonus is awarded per day, not per session. But so far, the French have bagged an extra point for biggest perch and the Dutch a point for biggest Xander. No pike or asp have been caught so far today, so those points go unawarded for now. The scores so far for day two then are as follows. The French are in pole position, with three points for longest length and a point for biggest perch, for a total of four points. Second place is tied between Team Benelux and Team Germany on two points each. The Dutch with a point for third longest length and a point for biggest Xander, while the Germans take two points for second longest length. While at the bottom of the table sits Team UK with zero points. As we saw in day one, things can change very quickly. And with the points only set at the end of the day, there's still everything to play for. Time to hear what the teams make of the action so far. So I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's check the results. So, wow. Benelux, oh, they got a nice sander, 72 centimeters, but that's it, so that's good for us. Steve, the UK, two sanders, 46. But one 31. doesn't count, so it's only one counting. We had minimum size 40 centimeters, so 31 doesn't count. But. Holy crap, the Frenchies. Perch 46, 30, 34, and a sander of 67.5. In total, 177.5. Wow. They also caught a catfish, so missed another perch. So big perch. They did actually quite a good job. They found the perch, it seems, that what we were looking for. We could not. Like we had two sanders with 62, 6, and 44. So in the total length, we are so far second behind the Frenchies, um, around one sander behind. In the lengths, they got the points for the perch, the biggest as well, and the uh, Benelux guys... Uh, <laughs> Very funny, just to mention, the difference between us and the French are exactly with sander. Yep. Because the three perch were the same as our two sander, and just with sander gives them a head, so we know we have to catch at least 67.5 to get the same result. For the length and then, yeah, finding a perch of 46 won't be easy. Mm -hmm. And the sander from the Belgium uh, Dutch guys was 72. It's a tough one as well, so, but we are still in, in the race, placing second mm -hmm. so far. I think uh, maybe we should stuck on the plan what we did in the morning to, to keep with them up and I don't know where the Frenchies have been starting. So. I think a mixture of um, crankbaits and soft yeah. baits from the walls. Yeah, sounds searching, good. Searching, searching, searching until we get the fish. Yeah, sounds good for us. Okay. So let's try it and after the break, we're casting again. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so first session, day two over, Kev. What's Results the scores on the door? coming in, mate. They're just coming in. So, I mean, for ourselves, we've struggled. We've had what? Two Zander. One size 46 ball. and 31. So, two, one two. counted fish, 46 total. Poor, really. Um, here we go. Right. So, uh, Germany. So we've had two Zander, 66, 44. 110 centimetres. Um, Benelux, oh, they've had a nice sander. 72. 72, yeah. Just a one fish again, though. Yeah, and then just France. <laughs> Christ, they've had a good day again, look. Uh, perch, 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 sander. 46 perch, 30 perch, 34 perch, and a 67.5 um, sander. One catfish, and we missed stupidly a 40 centimetre perch. They've had a good day again, fished well, 
as we said yesterday, it's their type of waters. It's no excuse, but we're struggling, yeah. mate. Yeah, we're we struggling. Need to um, go and make a plan, come back fighting for the last session. Work out where they had those perch. All that, but yeah. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Still got another session. Absolutely. It's not over yet. It's not over to fat lady sessions. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can it's hear good. her in the background though. Yeah. It's, um, All right, cool. That right. was hard. Let's go get some dinner. Yeah. Okay, uh, first of all, Germany. They have a total of 110 centimeters. Yeah. UK boys, they got uh, 70, 77. 77 centimeters. And France have um, 177.5. But we do have the biggest sander. Yeah. Which give us a point. So for now we have one point for today, yeah. but again, Wait. I see that the UK guys have a 31 centimeter Xander, and the size for Xander has to be 40. So we are in third place now instead oh. of last place. So we have two points, right, for today? Until now. Yeah, until yeah. now. So we need to do our best at the evening uh, session yep. and pull out everything we got to uh, rank up higher. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. It's going to be tough, but uh, we're going to do our best. Maybe change tactics again and uh, <laughs> again. let's see where we will end. Maybe fish more at uh, the big rivers because uh, this midday we went uh, into the city hard, so we didn't cut anything there, we didn't even cut a bite. So I think it's, uh, it's a good idea to fish on the big waters again and yeah. target some, uh, some zender over there. Good idea. Yeah. For now, let's eat and uh, we see you guys soon. So, so how's your feeling, how's your feeling about this morning? Good feeling. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. I think um, um, I agree with you. Not stunning. Not something. I mean, not enough to to crush it. But I think it's not not good, not bad. I think it's good. Okay. So let's see what the others have got. Oh, 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 oh. So Germany has two zanders. 66, 44. Benelux, one zander, 72. Big one. Better. And UK have one zander, 46, and one zander, 31. We made it, man. Yeah. Cool. Just we don't have the, the big zander. So total for the four teams, they, are, they got five, the three others, and we got four. So it's only nine fish for everyone. UK, two zander. Two zanders, no perch. Yeah, yeah, but. You know, we thought, well, wow, maybe they did some perf, blah, blah, blah. We fish you exactly know? the same place after the, the UK. Yeah, but maybe they, they are not able to catch uh, yeah, some yeah, good yeah, perf. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are, of course, of course. So not bad. I think we have a little bit of, uh, we have a, a little bit ahead with this, with this. We need to make the same. Same stuff, yeah. same, same scores this afternoon would be would be perfect. Maybe a big asp? Yeah. What do you think? Benelux, for the moment, Benelux has a point for the for the biggest zander. Yeah. I think they will keep it. 72 is huge. There is no uh, pike coat and we got the only perch. Yes, but Benelux, it's okay for us. Yeah, 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 sure. That's even better if yeah, it's yeah. Benelux than uh, Germany. Yeah. Uh, 72, but it's a good fish. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. But you know, Germany is second for the moment. Yeah. We are first, they are second. UK uh, third and Benelux fourth. Okay, good job, my friend. Yes, let's it's have very a, good. Let's I'm have so a happy. Quick lunch and yes. uh, and we do it again. Let's go. Yes.